Yo, what's up, Trash Call? We're back here on the line. This is the first day opening season for trapping for coyotes. I just put in a walkthrough set right here. And I'm still going to put in our dirt hole and a flat set. I'm going to show you all how I do the flat sets. But you all already seen a bunch of dirt hole videos. Sure, you're all sick of those. But uh, just put this walk blended perfectly in. Center of my pan's literally right there. This is coming right off the field. They've been traveling. They had to take pass back in or come in from different ways. Dirt hole right here. We're gonna put the flat set right there, kind of like a scent post slash flat set. So here we go, guys. So we're gonna put you putting in our scent post right here. Clear this nice scent post system. This old uh, logging road here. First day of season. I'm hoping to catch some good ones this year. Clear me out a little spot. Move some of this out of the way here. That'll do it. Let's see. Okay. Gonna dig the trap bed out here. For all you new watchers, we trap in eastern west, uh, western West Virginia, and uh, it's a lot different than out west in the other states. Whole lot different coyotes, whole lot bigger coyotes. We'll be using the same traps as just like last year. Duke number two, dogless traps. Minnesota brand super steaks. We're gonna see how this trap's gonna fit here. That looks like it'll be pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead. And a little bit of peat down here in the bottom. Then set the trap here. I am on a little bit of incline, so it's a little bit more difficult. Keep my balance. Everything will be all right. Oh, got my glove stuck. Got a trap right here. Let's 
That's going to set just how I want it to. Now, if y'all notice, this big back end right here. This would be perfect to put my bait and lure right underneath. Keep it nice, simple, no dirt holes. Just put it down underneath with a couple little pecks with my driver. And need my groundhog. This happens a little bit. Oh, blends right in. All right. Down it went. All right. Take it, pull up a little bit. Put crap on my bed. Take this chain. Push it down in here. I got crunch proof swivels. Beat it in. Wiggle it in there. Okay, I'm gonna take some peat. Put it around this first part of this trap here. Make sure I night latch it. Okay, night latched. I get it pressed down in here good. I'll add some more peat. Get it packed on. Get it packed in. With flat sets, you don't want to have a big old pile of peat moss or dirt all over the place. You want to be able to blend it in just fine. For the animal not be able to tell as in my animal i'm looking for is coyote so they're real finicky but when they're hungry they're hungry so so with this this is just real simple just got to blend it in and i'll show you that process once we get it bedded in but all i'm going to do here pick two fists Work it around, packing it all in. Where that trap does not move, that trap moves. One, the cat is just gonna scatter, they ain't gonna come, they just gonna run away. Or two, they're gonna dig your trap up. So you wanna make sure your trap's nice and solid. I think the trapping is going to be real slow these first few weeks till it starts to cool back down. It's going to be up in the 80s today. For some odd reason, it has to be up in the 80s. But at night, it's getting down to the 50s. So still some really cool nights. Bring on some on that pan. Back in. Just going to pat it down here some more. Push down this side, push down that top jaw, no movement, no movement. That means we got that part with the peat moss, perfect, no problem. Let's bring some more. So now, take this, let's 
and blend it all right on in. With this part, this is just the first step of the blending now. Once you got it better. Take that, chuck it over there. And what I'm gonna do is, light out of the way. Rip some of that up. So this stays natural to where it was. Taking scissors. You don't want them big pieces in here. You just want them small ones so you don't get them to get you don't want the big ones getting your trap. Keep it real nice and small. Put some more in here. A little bit of this. I still want it blended a little bit more. There's my scent post trap bed. So now, I'm gonna grab my driver here. The way this is, I'm gonna poke three holes back here. Have that drove out a little bit. Have that out a little bit. Put one more right there. So what I'm gonna do now, since we got that in, Take some capital punishment. Just a little bit, not a lot. Just give them a little bit of a food smell to it. Just drop back here in that hole. Or some bait. I'm gonna grab. If I can find it here. There it is, Minnesota Red. Just some fox gland lures, all it is. Oh, I can smell it already. It smells nice and fresh. Woo! Don't want to overdo it. Put that in that hole right there.
And to top it all off, I'm going to put another red fox gland in here. Very little of this one. Very little red fox on this. Okay. I'll give it more of a scent post feel. I'm just going to dab her a little bit of red fox here and back here on the backing. Just a little bit. No, that wasn't a lot. I don't want to over overdo it. And right there is how I make a scent post set. Not scent post, but a flat set. Scent post slash flat set. This is early season. So, we're going to see what this guy is. See what the walkthrough set does. I'm going to put one more dirt hole. And I'll show you all the final product. So, I'll see y'all in a few. So, that's the end of the day for us out here. Got the walkthrough. Big old nasty dirt hole right there. And then we got our flat set. We'll be setting a few more tomorrow. And I'll show you the after process too. So, see y'all tomorrow, Trap Squad.